Alright, so today we are going to be creating a wet puddle inside of Maya and Anil. And wet puddle is kind of a very popularized thing when it comes to daily render or CG industry. And it has been going on for a while now, it creates a very interesting results uh, and it gives you kind of extra feel to your renders. And this was actually a request by Hugo Mota who commented how can we create a wet puddle. So we are going to take a look how we can do this inside of Maya and Anil procedurally. And uh, there are a couple of ways how we can do this uh, like procedurally and some procedural method methods and also some other methods and extra tips that we can look at as we go along so let's see so i'm going to take a plane to start off with i'm going to scale this up and uh, let's turn off the grid let's take the divisions to around 20 and 20 this should be fairly enough and we don't have to worry about subdivision since we are already going to be subdividing it with using subdivision cataclar by arnold uh, so i think we'll be pretty good okay let's go to hypershade and build our material okay i'm going to go to my anil and actually let's uh, create a material for this anil side surface let's call this wet puddles let's go to hypershade and uh, i'm going to select my graph network so here we have a basic setup of our standard surface i'm going to make the diffuse to one and uh, here we have to understand a couple of things like this thing cannot be built by using only one thing so we have to actually build a couple of things so first thing i'm going to do is type in noise and noise is going to be another great asset when it comes to creating this kind of effect so as you can see we have a couple of noise uh, like for example volume noise which will kind of give you this kind of noise and once you get the concept of how you can create this you can pretty much do this on your own by taking simply any noise you want and simply playing around with it so let's see uh, you can also take a default noise which i think is pretty good as well but i think we are going to go with simplex noise this time so let's see so i have a simplex noise here and um, we have coverage and we have translated frame and so on and so on okay now the first thing we are going to be doing is going to the simplex noise attributes and changing the scale value to something reasonable like 4 okay and amplitude will remain 1 threshold i don't think we have to manipulate this but if you do want to create a contrasting result we can pretty much play around with this and gamma as well to create some interesting effect okay And there we have something contrasting. Uh, I think uh, if you want to create a smoother and octave is just going to hold the quality of overall noise. So I think now it looks pretty good. And if you want uh, direction distortion on your uh, UNV direction, you can pretty much do that and distortion ratio as well. So I think this setting is fair enough for me and I think we are good to go. As I said this is a completely procedural method so you can always go back and change back and forth whatever you like. So uh, the next thing we are going to do is uh, create a displacement file not actually file sorry we already have created something for this. So let's take the alpha to the displacement which is going to displace our geometry and uh, overall give us that interesting look now once this is done we are also be going to manipulate the same noise to the roughness value so as you can see we have if i make this something like 0.8 metallic material and if i take my specular roughness over here so as you can see we have some portion where the roughness is reacting and some places where the roughness is not reacting where you can clearly see everything the hdr and all the environment so we are going to manipulate the same noise as we have used on displacement and the same noise will behave as a roughness map. Now the next thing we have to do is take another standard surface which is going to create small bumps on our map. First let's see how this material is looking on our plane. So let's go to Anvil, let's switch to IPR and um, I'm going to make the test resolution. 50% and as you can see something weird is happening like what is this 
very heighted map and don't worry about this all you have to do for this is go back to your plain shape and go to Arnold and here you will find a couple of options like subdivisions and displacement attributes the first thing is to change the height to 0.1 alright if that doesn't work try 0 0.010 and let's update full scene okay still doesn't work no worries bounce padding to 1 and make sure the auto bump is turned on make sure it is set to cataclysm and this will just completely subdivide your overall mesh okay and I'm going to set it to 3 let's update full scene uh, now as you saw we have turned down the height but still nothing is happening the reason is because in the hyper shade if you go to a displacement shader the scale value is set to 1 if we decrease this to 0.1 and now if we hit to render as you can see now we see something all right uh, we do have some pinchy uh, heights going on which is kind of pretty strong so to fix this we have to go back to our hyper shade go to simplex noise and um, just uh, i think the scale was good sorry four and just turn down the threshold to make it and just some gamma make it a little grayish and now if we had update full scene so now we have pretty you can say dull scene now we have to increase the value so as you can see as we increase the value we are creating those pearls and we are already there so let's see to find a value right between there so i think 23 24 uh, let's make it 0.2 and i think this will be enough yeah so when this is done uh, let's decrease the overall metalness to 0.5 okay and um, well i do have a one hdri which is reacting to this so if we just turn off the exposure amount to this and um, let's update the full scene to see what we can see and let's take a physical sun and sky okay perfect so now uh, let's uh, move along so as you can see we have created our uh, normal puddles for now okay and uh, let's see which is looking pretty interesting now comes the time to create those tiny uh, you can say details so for that uh, we have to kind of bring this down and go to your arnold and we have to take another standard surface so let's come here right so we have a standard surface and i'm going to delete the standard surface output let's bring it around here okay perfect so uh, the next thing we are going to do we are going to type in noise again and uh, right now it is set to only arnold and here we have simplex noise and uh, this will kind of give those uh, interesting tiny details so i'm just going to change the scale value to something like 20 or even less maybe let's say 40 60 maybe something like this and we can always as i said this is completely procedural method so we can always go back and forth and change everything if we want uh, so there's that let's bring this around here and uh, from here i'm going to go to my let's make this one go to my geometry and here we have bump mapping and bump mapping is something that fakes a displacement so we don't actually have to displace the geometry we just have to fake it so i'm going to click on this and um, what i'm going to do is go to arnold and instead of taking a map we are going to take a color correct node which is going to help us control overall this map so let's connect the out color to the input and we have this okay now we are not going to see anything because obviously we don't have any output so to connect an output what we are going to do we are going to merge these two material together to create a different material so i'm going to type in mix and arnold has something called as a mix shader which i think is an amazing uh, shader which kind of adds just two material and mix them together so you can create different kinds of material and just blend them together which is i think 
pretty interesting so let's make this to shader 2 let's put this on shader 1 okay uh, what you can also do you can uh, pretty much output this standard surface shader to the standard surface 2 which will also take your displacement as well so now we have a mix shader which is a com combination of both but we do need one more thing and that is a blending or you can see the mix version of it so we have to take another standard surface and let's delete the surface output and just attach this to the sorry we have to take one more node where is it where is it where is it yeah color to float let's make this and let's transport this value to the mix okay and um, i'm going to make this value one let's make it something like this let's make it something like this and same for this okay so now i think we are good to go let's see how our material looks and then we can dive into how we can change uh, everything if it doesn't work out the way it should let's see and now i think it's looking pretty interesting let's update the full scene and i'm just going to set a camera angle let's close this so we have more space okay so i'm going to keep my scene like this and just to give you a demonstration what you can do with this kind of wet puddles uh, i'm going to create a, something a random kind of scene and uh, one more thing if you don't want this soft rigid edges uh, sorry soft edges what you can do you can go back to your attributes and uh, mix shader and go to hyper shade and this is your displacement uh, shader and if you just make this even something like 0.8 or something harsh it will kind of get rid of those smooth edges and those feather edges so if you are into like harp or rigid edges you can turn the value up and this will just give you some interesting and sharp edges okay so i'm going to delete my uh, physical sun and sky and let's take an area light and let's turn on our ipr to see what our scene looks like okay and let's bring this down let's bring this up and let's pause this actually i think uh, the hdr is working right now so i'm going to make the intensity of zero so now only our area light is affecting overall okay so let's pause this i'm going to close this and i think i'll go to i'll take another camera and let's go back into the camera one let's set a view to something like this okay i think this is perfect let's log this view let's go back to the perspective view and uh, from here i'm going to select my area light let's bring this up and let's bring it around here okay so something like this okay now if i go back to my camera and let's see the ipr we don't see anything probably the exposure is too low for that and also switch the camera to something like this and uh, let's make it four and uh, also i'm going to turn off the normalize so let's make it two the normalize uh, kind of controls as how big your light is it's going to emit that much light so let's make it 1000 or let's make it 5 okay and um, let's bring it around here and i think that is interesting so uh, the next thing we are going to add is another environment which is going to be an ai fog let's turn this on and uh, i think this is on the wrong direction i need to make this one and one yeah let's make this minus 20 to bring this down actually let's make it two or minus five i think minus one was pretty good and i'm going to increase the height update full scene okay let's make the height to something like two five 10 30 okay and also change the fog color to something a bit like this 
okay and I'm just going to increase the amount of distance we have on this to something like this so we have pretty dark scene going on okay so I think this uh, one is looking good now I'm going to pause this now take a cube okay let's turn this on something like this and uh, I'm going to close this for now let's go to the perspective view and I'm just going to hit Control E and just extrude it a couple of times right okay so I think our dummy scene is ready let's go back into our camera and let's go to panel let's see our IPR and I'm just going to select this one and let's create a new material go to panel stand surface and let's make it one and metalness to something like this and um, yes metalness and the roughness value will be 0.2 let's make it 0.9 and thin film let's make it something like 650 and 1.2 uh, let's make a coat out of this perfect uh, now for the sphere i'm going to select my sphere and i'm going to add a mesh light okay and in the mesh light let's make light visible let's make it two maybe four let's use our color temperature to make it either cold or hot yes, and you can keep increasing the exposure until you see something like this or I think I'm going to make it pretty cold or you can also change your custom color it totally depends on you I'm going to make this on plus 5 okay so I think this much is good enough for me so as you can see uh, the interesting part is that it's although it's creating interesting puddles and giving those variation on the reflection on the ground so i think puddles gives kind of interesting results i'm going to go back to my perspective view and just add a little bit of variation to make this interesting okay so i think uh, we are pretty much done with this so i'm just going to uh, show you another method how we can create those puddles so uh, let me just select this this and, and this and just add a new layer let's hide this so we have nothing um just we have to hide the mesh light as well let's go here let's make the intensity to zero and the exposure value to okay and uh, i think we are good to go uh, now there's one more thing uh, to remove and that is just our fog so yeah i'm going to just reduce the distance and now the other method that we can do is let's turn this off and let's close this that is uh, basically sculpting over it so i think we have something like this and I'm going to make this around 50 and 50 so we have fairly amount of divisions to sculpt on and we are just going to take some brushes and uh, I'm just going to scale the value down of the brush if you hold B on your keyboard and left click and drag you can change the size of your brushes and uh, play around with it now as you can see this is uh, like completely harsh so you have to double click on this and you can pretty much change the strength to something like 0.2 which will just give you a decent amount of um, sculptness okay so let's see 50 50 and let's play around with this so i'm just going to randomly sculpt this quickly okay so once you're done take another plane and uh, scale this up okay and as you can see as we have scaled this up we can pretty much fake the overall puddleness you can go in and change 
if you don't like how the puddles are reacting and just increase and decrease if you hold down control you can subtract the volume on the surface and so play around with different kinds of uh, elements or you can say sculpting versions to create those interesting puddle looks and i think this will just kind of give you a fake this kind of puddle look if you are looking into that and you can give another interesting new material surface and let's make this diffuse one let's make it pretty rough material and for this we can make another material which will be pretty shiny or you can say have a lot of specular value on it and if you go to our ipr and perspective shape i think we are on perspective shape yeah and let's update the full thing and start this so as you can see we have created something like this okay which is like a fairly simple uh, you can say idea of creating those puddles so if you don't want to dive into the procedural method or i think if that is too much you can do this method as well where you can change the overall color of your uh, terrain let's make it darker okay and uh, you'll get those reflection interesting reflections as well so this is another method you can do this uh, now there is one more thing that you can also do i do have a texture pack for this um, which is let me show you so uh, let me just select this one and i think the intensity has been already reduced if not let me just make it zero so if i go to my camera my camera and show you the overall so this is what it looks like a uh, kind of realistic texture overall so you can see you can get this pack uh, i'm going to make this available for free when i reach around 500 subscribers so if you are watching this and you have been supporting my channel so help me support reach that goal and i'll definitely make this free as soon as i reach my goal this is a 4k resolution texture pack uh, and this contains around five images a diffuse normals uh, displacement roughness and specular so if i show you my hyper shade and uh, show you the graph network as you can see this is all the setup that has gone into creating such material like this and i'll also make a tutorial on how to create something like this or you can how you can use this texture images to create a wet pedal look so uh, if you want this pack definitely stay tuned in for its release other than that uh, there are like several methods as i said to create your own wet puddles you can do this inside of maya and the pretty much technique remains the same overall on all the other platforms so i hope you like the video i hope this resolves your uh, issue of how to create wet puddles if you do like the video definitely like on it and tell me in the comment section what else you want to know or what else you want me to showcase and i'll see you next time